first of all, the, the video looks amazing. Um, I'm really excited. So now that we can see that all of these different text to video models are coming hitting the market. So there's going to be lots of competition for Sora. But let's take a look at the video side by side from Vidu and then also from Sora. And then we'll compare and see the differences that they're still there. Okay, so the first one, the left hand side, obviously, it's the one by Vidu. And then the right hand side, it's by Sora. As you can see, it's very similar. So I would imagine they made these videos as a direct competition to Sora. Okay, so comparing these side by side, as you can see, the one on the left hand side, which is done by Vidu, and then the one on the right hand side by Sora, the one on the right hand side by Sora, you could tell that it's very crisp, the trees, the environment, the dirt that's coming up on the car, uh, just the surrounding, everything looks very sharp and crisp. However, on the left hand side, the one by Vidu, you can tell like the trees are kind of looking a little weird. You could tell that's AI generated because if you've used runway, it kind of looks like it's been generated from an image to video and added motion and the dirt doesn't look as clean as far as the way it, raise, it raises up and the environment doesn't look as crisp. All right, so this next one is the close up of an eye. This is for by, by Vidu. And then this is the one by OpenAI. As you can tell, the one by OpenAI is a lot sharper. You can tell the detail of the skin color, the detail of the eye. The one from video still looks great, but again, it just, you can tell that the difference in the quality of the video. So there's definitely a difference, but still pretty, pretty great. All right, and then this one is, this is the one where a little boat is kind of traveling through this little wave. I don't know what, if it's supposed to be water or carpet or something like that, but it's very similar to what OpenAI released. Um, the one with the ships in the coffee. Yeah, as you can see, the one from OpenAI, it looks a lot more, the waves look sharper, the image itself, the boat. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of difference when it comes to the quality of the video. The video by OpenAI is 1080 and the one from Vidu is 720. So there's a difference of quality when it comes to the image itself. And then this is the one by Vidu. Again, this is like a close up of these different types of screens, different types of TVs. Again, very similar to what OpenAI released. And this is the one by OpenAI, as you can tell, just the quality itself is there's a huge difference, right? As far as like the sharpness of the image, you can see the screens a lot, a lot different. You can see the reflection of the light, the way it bounces off the different screens is a lot more sharper when it comes to the OpenAI one. And then this is the last one that's kind of very similar to OpenAI. This is the one by OpenAI. You can see this is that girl in Tokyo walking around. You can tell the difference between the video quality, just the way the lights bump bouncing off the environment, the characters inside the video. I mean, this bear kind of looks weird, especially the lips. Um, and as you can see, just the environment from OpenSora, it's the lights, the signals, all of the background, the stuff in the, it's just very sharp. It's very obvious that the quality is very, very different. But then again, like I said, overall, it still looks great. They have done a great job. Um, I'm very excited to try it out, especially if they release it to public, that would be amazing. And then obviously there's ones that are different than uh, OpenAI. So let's take a look at this one. Cause I, I, I noticed something as far as the, the hair of this girl. So if you see in the beginning of this video, um, you can see her hair is kind of waving through, but then right away, like a second later, you could see that somehow her hair changed to this like red ribbon or something. As you can see, that doesn't look, that doesn't look correct. So there's the, and then also just the skin, it doesn't look very natural. Um, you could definitely tell that this video was made by AI. Uh, but again, so there's just a few small things that you can tell that they're not quite there yet compared to Sora, where for Sora, it's just, it's honestly, it's extremely hard to point out whether the video was made by AI or not. But yeah, you can, it's pretty obvious. You can tell that somehow the hair kind of disappeared and then this ribbon, red ribbon kind of takes over this side of the screen. Yeah, so, so I'm not sure what happened. Maybe this was supposed to be in the background. Um, but it kind of got tangled with the hair, but anyways, it looks a little strange. Um, and then they have other videos obviously in there, uh, that are pretty cool. Again, like maybe we're being a little too harsh, but, but still, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's very cool as far as the overall quality of the videos that there's there and still it's at the beginning of the stages right now. So I'm sure they will make a lot more improvements. Um, and then one thing I wanted to point out, actually one amazing thing that, that you can tell they did very well was for some reason. A lot of AI videos and pictures, text to video, text to pictures have difficulty generating human fingers or human hands uh, the correct way. But you could tell here um, they have done a good job. You can tell that this 
you know, it's generated on both these videos. Like if you look at the one of this girl and a man waiting on some kind of a waiting room, you could tell their, their fingers are natural, their hands are natural on both sides. And then the same thing with this other girl kind of using this pottery, you could tell that it's, it's very well made. So there is a way to sign up. I mean, at least they have a sign up form in their website. So I'm going to try that out and see because you just have to fill your name and your email and then say that somebody from the marketing department will reach out to you. So I hope they give us a chance to try this out because obviously the one from OpenAI, Sora is not released to public and I don't know when they're going to release that. So hopefully we will release at least a portion of it or some kind of a trial version where we can test it out and see if this text to video generation actually works via the prompts, right? Because so far, even from Sora, we've only seen them provide the prompts and we've only seen their video generation. So we haven't really tested out to see whether uh, this thing works, how long it takes to generate the video and how good the quality of these videos are gonna be. So overall, again, very exciting. Um, now that has Sora, you can tell that it has competition from other platforms like the Chinese companies. And I'm sure there will be other video platforms that will release kind of similar products soon. So uh, it's very exciting time as far as like the filmmaking and just the different types of uh, text to video and text to image generation from the AI platform. So really fun things to look forward to. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.